Okay, guys, uh, we're going to have two variations for our 40 plus uh, uh, game. Um, so first variation, we're going we're gonna to play points out, rally scoring, game to seven. Uh, same, same sort of spiel here. If you let a speed up go long, you get two. Um, but the uh, different variations, the first variation, we can only speed up out of the air. And, so, and it's, and it's going to be open. He, uh, Coach Jim can speed up or I can speed up. And then second variation of the game is going to be you can only speed up off the bounce. Okay, so we're going to have some fun here. Um, you know, keep in mind that when you're speeding up, you know, get, get ready to clean up if you speed up. When you speed up, think about starting and staying. For example, if I speed up backhand, I'm going to stay backhand. If I, if I speed up forehand, I'm going to stay forehand. Um, uh, you know, think about winning the Dinkin exchange first and then looking to speed up. Think about not speeding up. Uh, by hitting a one-shot wonder, make sure it's calculated, or if it's not calculated, you can only hit that high pace speed up knowing it's going out if you know that your opponent tends to take a lot of out balls. Okay, ready? So here we go. So game to seven, play some points out. You can only speed up out of the air. Either one of us can speed up. Correct, oh yeah. Let's do it, zeros. You will notice how much more shallow the, the dinking gets in this exercise. Oh no, it's a good gym. It's a good. Uh, zero one. I, I like it. I just got, I got impatient. No, it's all right. It's a very good speed up. Nice. Okay, once. Oh, that's very generous of you. I know what it's like. Okay, two to one. No, make it. Two, yeah, like it. Okay. Like it, Jim. Two. Got that punch going today, buddy. Yeah. Got that punch going. Okay, three, two. Yeah, or you can get the hell out of the way. Wow, that, ball, that ball is going out. No! Too good, too good. Three. Uh, uh, threes. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm, I'm taking it. Four, three, baby. Here we go. Uh, okay, out of the air. Uh, 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 oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Oh, gave him one. Gave him one. Bait. 6-4. Game to seven, buddy. Come on. Okay. Okay, so now same game, but we're going to play it off the bounce. Same game here. Playing it off the bounce. Ready? You ready? I'm, I'm ready. So obviously in that last game, we're, we're looking to take more balls out of the air. Why? It, it would make sense that if we're going to speed up out of the air, that we have to build it up uh, kind of with, with the foundation of taking some dinks out of the air, adding that disguise factor, adding that surprise factor. Now that we're speeding up off the bounce, I'd love to see more uh, step backs, buying yourself some time uh, to, to hit more lift or push dinks. All in all, if we're going to be speeding up more off the bounce, it would make sense you want to give yourself some room off the kitchen line and not be such a leech. Okay, so give yourself a little spacing back here with spacing that'll give, you, uh, give yourself some more time to get organized and then just give yourself some more time to get prepared on that speed up. Come on, Jimmy, let's do it, buddy. Right. Zeros. Bring it, sucker. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's a good point. Like it. Come on, Matt. Bring him, buddy. Oh, man. Oh, is that, is that one? Is that one? I think it was just one. It's one. There you go. <laughs> uh. Oh, you're reading the next one. You're on it. Two. Uh. Uh. Nice. 
See that there? Started forehand, stayed forehand nine times out of ten. When you start, it comes right back to where you started from. Stay there. Stay there. Believe that counter will come right back there. Three. Okay, bring it. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'll, I'll take that. Four. No, yeah, yeah, you're fine. That was a, that was a very good lean in, though. Okay, uh, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna give him one just because that was a, was a very nice, well disguised speed up. But yes, it's got to be off the bounce. Uh, yeah, boy, nice. Four two. No, I missed it wide. Four three. Here we go. It's got to be down the line. Four three. Okay, f five three. Here we go. Yeah. No more nets. Yeah. Oh. Nice eye. Okay, six three. Good eye. Just. Okay. Six four. Here we go. Yeah, that's why, that's why I, I like speeding up line, just because it's so tough for you to get it on my left shoulder. Usually when I go here, it comes right back, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so one of, the, one of the big reasons why I like speeding up line, I speed up line. Yes, it is kind of taking risk. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm flirting with the high part of the net, low percentage, toughest play in the book, but um, it's tough for this individual to like get, get around the backhand volley to actually get it cross core. So usually this ball, when I speed up there, that counter comes right back and then now I'm sitting and sliding. So I speed up, sit and slide. Now I have space and I can really clean that next one up. If you find yourself speeding up and you, and you recognize that your opponent's counter attack came screaming back in a hurry, you should ask yourself, do I have a stamp on my forehead? Did I, did I give my speed up away? Uh, did I speed up on the wrong ball? Is my opponent's hands just simply better than mine? I think those are some of the questions that we're asking ourselves if we're unsuccessful with our speed up. You know, because sometimes, um, you know, you could, you could uh, uh, speed up uh, based on their technique. You know, like if I, if I see that my opponent has a big old swing on their forehand volley, but they're much more compact on their, on their backhand, and I've been speeding up towards their backhand side, and, that, and, and their counter punch has been, screaming, has been coming screaming back in a hurry, um, I should ask myself, am I speeding up towards the wrong side? Usually technique paints a picture, right? Um, and, I, and I think as players, we should be, co we should be teachers at heart and, and, and really recognize that if there's any sort of uh, technical issues going on with our opponent's game, let's look to take full advantage. So if I see that my opponent has a big old swing on their forehand, what's the chance of them timing it well as I, as I speed up towards their forehand and then timing a, a, a big swing to meet the ball clean. Um, so there's something to be said with speeding up towards a side or speeding up uh, towards the forehand or backhand based off bad technique. Um, so I think really look to exploit and utilize um, uh, speeding up to a particular side based on their technique.